Capricho. Welcome back to another episode of the Cho Super Hyper Podcast. Woo! This is Super Blastex, joined by Toku Tony. Howdy! We're here to go over last week's uh, superhero time, which is Kamen Rider and Super Sentai uh, airing block that they do in Japan. Uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff here on YouTube. Let us know that you are watching this stuff. Um, Get us on our socials as well. I'm Super Blast X everywhere. And I'm Toku Tony everywhere. Except for Twitter on Twitter. I'm the Tony Toku. Wow. The Tony Toku? Yeah. Oh, the Toku Tony. Keep doing that. Um. So, yeah, we're going to get into. So, we're. This is. We're going to be caught up after this episode comes out. Yeah, these were the episodes originally aired on November 10th. And there wasn't a uh, superhero time last weekend. Yep. So, this will be us caught up. Uh, we just won't have the episodes that literally aired two hours ago. Um, oh, no, wait, sorry, not November 10th, October 27th. Oh, that's crazy, huh? Yeah, November 10th would be today. Right now. The episodes that the aired episodes already. Just aired. Um, yeah, because there wasn't one last week. So, yeah. Uh, that's crazy because last week was... I guess not. That would have been like the Halloween episode, but I guess not because it's still... It would have been after Halloween. Mm-hmm. We did kind of get a Halloween episode, and that's what we're going to be talking about here. Halloween episode for Gav, at least. Yes. Kind of, uh, sort of. It's trick or treat. They say trick or treat in Halloween. Yeah, for five seconds at the beginning of the episode. Yes. Uh, which we will get into. Uh, now, before we get into all of that stuff, um, this episode is coming out a little later than I had intended. Uh, we had intended, excuse me. We did want to get this out in the morning uh, today, Saturday. Yes. Um, I don't know when you're listening to this. Might be Sunday. Might be three weeks from now. Who knows? Oh no. Um, no, not from us putting it up, but whoever you know finds the video. Right. Um, we. Well, well, so, Toku Tony's job. He he is the busy guy. He does go on call, and sure enough, last night at nine. About about nine o'clock, yeah. You got when we would have recorded yep. this episode. Uh, you got called out to do your job, mm-hmm. um, and by the time you got home, it was about eleven thirty, almost twelve. Yeah, it was about twelve o'clock. And I didn't want to ask you. You asked me if you want to record. Yeah. I didn't even want to think about that because I thought you just needed to get some rest. Yeah. And then this morning I wake up and you weren't there because you got another call. <laughs> yeah. And I was gonna ask you if you wanted to record in the morning today. Mm-hmm. But A, I saw you weren't there. And then when you got back, when I got to you, you were just crashed on your bed. Yeah, I was pretty dead. And I slept so, for like three, four hours after that. So I thought, no, I'm not going to bother him for that either. Yeah. Um, Excuse me. And now it's after dinner. And now we're here. And I'm <laughs> ready to go because I have my coffee. And I'm so ready sorry. to do some more uh, night calls. Yeah. Some, some more house calls later on tonight. Yeah, so we're going to record this if it... This happened before, where we had to stop the recording and then yep. pick it up later. Yeah. Uh, if that happens here, we'll let you know. We'll try to get, we'll try to get to a spot like between, mm-hmm. uh, between episodes of the show or whatever, like a writer or whatever. Um. So that we'll be I. Yeah. So that it's not too jarring, uh, and that we can have like our thoughts collected. What were we talking about last time before we took uh, a break? I'm just saying like that. So oh that, yeah, that, yeah, so yeah, that, yeah. That doesn't happen. I see that. Um. So if you're new to the show, welcome. This is episode 80. We've done it. Wow, we've done it. Uh, we've done it for two years. Um, yeah. Is That's it? All, is yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we started at the end of uh, Don Brothers. Don Brothers. Yeah. And yeah, we're about three, four months away from the end of Boom Boonger. So yeah, we're like. A year and three quarters done. Well, we were this. like the end of Don Brothers and like the middle of Geats. Uh, like the ending of Geats. No, no, no like the middle, it was right? like the middle. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. I remember those thumbnails. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. They were just barely introducing that Grand Royale or whatever. Which is crazy that that we could have. Uh, 
If we had started earlier on King Oger and Geats, that would have been great because that was a crazy superhero time. Geats and King o or sorry, Don Brothers? Yeah, no, yeah, that was a crazy that was, superhero that was, time. That was a good superhero time. I'm glad we started beforehand, though, because starting at King Oger and doing that whole thing fully oh, was yeah. great. Yeah, King Oger is. King Oger is the only one that we've done a whole Sentai series for. Mm hmm. Boomer's going to be second. Yeah. Hopefully. And then the writer that we've done the whole thing for was uh, Gotcha, yeah, man. Gotcha, yeah. But the only, yeah, that's the only one we've done. So Gotcha and King Oger are, are complete. So if you guys are, like I said, new to us, all of our episodes are here on YouTube in a playlist. And you want to see our full thoughts or want to do a watch along with uh, King Oger and uh, Gotcha, they're there for you to listen to. Yeah. Um, even the ones that have Geats or... Um, Boom Boonger attached to them because you know it's half and half whenever they do superhero time. You can skip those. We have timestamps. You can just do the King Oger part of yeah. the podcast if you want. Um so yeah, that's there. I, I like I like realizing that yeah, we have two whole series on our belts. One. Yeah, under our belts. Mm-hmm. Um It's pretty pretty good. Yeah, are you looking at it now or Yeah, I'm looking at it now. Really cool. Yeah, King Oger and Gotchard fully. Yeah. Wow. And some movie stuff in there. Oh and yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Pretty cool. Pretty nice. And some outsider stuff. Which yeah. There was some news today. Uh, and then speaking of King Oger as well, King Oger in space just came out on TTFC today as well. Oh, did it? Very nice. Uh, I know the raw is out there, so just, just, just a matter of time. All right, Dub. Um. So yeah, before we get fully into discussion of into the discussion of the this past week's the two episodes two weeks ago episodes, um, we'd like to get into our personal weeks before yeah. we get into that. So, um, last time we recorded an episode was Tuesday, so it's only been about four or five days since the last time we shared. Mm -hmm. uh, but we did do some stuff over the weekend that we mentioned we talk about here in yes. this episode um so i hope your memory is still no yeah it, it, there it, for all that it, it's okay but i'll tell you what we, we talk about last time you know doing the episodes only four episodes isn't enough time to like okay what do we do this week i had a pretty eventful week this week after mm. we recorded those episodes so you want yeah you want to do that before we get into the uh no not really the stuff just it's just that one thing that happened yesterday okay which was crazy uh just to mention that real quick, right off the bat, because that is the last thing that happened to us yesterday. Uh, you and me, we were driving to work together, um, and I hit something on the road, and it got stuck underneath my wheels or something, underneath the carriage of my vehicle, and it cut my brake lines. Yep. It cut my brake lines while your, I was on the your highway. Re your rear brake lines. Yeah, yeah my, my rear brake lines while I was on the highway. I was spewing liquid everywhere, and uh, we pulled over. Uh, it was Blastix over here, saw a piece of what I hit and I chucked it I in. Think. Yeah, I I I mean I I think it is too. I, I chucked it in the vehicle and I coasted all the way to our uh trusted mechanic for our company. And uh <laughs> I coasted it about 20 minutes of driving which would normally be our morning commute. Crazy. But yeah, it's very expensive. Very expensive fix. But we're all good. Right, that was another thing too. The last time we recorded was Tuesday when Hell opened up and swallowed this nation whole. Um, so we haven't had a re reaction to it on the podcast, but from my description there, you can imagine how I felt about the results. Uh, if you want more of my opinions, um, you can go to my Twitter and see how mad I am there. Uh, I don't want to talk about it too much, um, but I just this reminded me that yeah, last time we did this was on tuesday yep um also some other relevant uh well other non um relevant news to what i just said switch announcements real quick before oh, that okay, okay. uh the reason i brought that up that why i thought about that as you were talking about your van story is because you said it was a very expensive job you're right and you know he, he quoted us and everything um, that just made me think about how much more expensive something like that's going to be next year. 
mm-hmm. having to import parts yeah. from other countries and how much more expensive those parts are going to cost. Good job, America. Okay. Uh, what Switch releases? What Switch announcements? Announcements that the Switch is going to be... Or the Switch uh, oh, predecessor... Right. Successor. Successor is going to have... Uh, backwards compatibility. Compatibility. Yeah, yeah so the Switch 2... Wow. Uh, Mench... Or... Not announced, but... He just but, tweeted about it, right? Yeah, well, no, it was in an investor meeting thing. Ah, uh-huh, okay. And then he tweeted it. Um, okay. But the president of Nintendo, Mr. Furukawa-san, uh, said... Mr. and son, I should You say Mr. That. and Mr.? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, Chad <laughs> caught it immediately, though. Yeah. And you did, too. That's nice. Um, he mentioned, uh, yeah, that it's going to have backwards... It's going to be compatible with previous Switch games, and it's also going to have Nintendo Switch Online. Wow. So that's great. Speaking of, my NSO expired today, and I had to renew oh, it today. Really? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know where my phone said, Mario Kart 8 music is on the Nintendo Music app. And I was like, yeah, it's been there since the start. What, what is this notification for? Is there new tracks? That's crazy. So I clicked on it, and then it didn't let me open the app because it says I had to be a member. And I was like, what the hell is this? Wow. I opened my Switch up, and sure enough, it expired, I guess, yesterday. Well, I guess today, because I was playing my Switch yesterday. It was fine. Yeah. Uh, but that made me think too. Is this how they're gonna remind people? It's like, hey, you have this thing. Yeah, oh, it, you can't do it. You yep. gotta, yeah. Um, Conniving. Uh, I think it's knifing, TJ. Um, <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for that. I don't know if that means that they'll be enhanced in any way. People are thinking that. Um, I think it might be that, like, it might be a 3DS DS situation where it'll mm. just run Switch games natively. Yeah. Um, and then the Switch 2 cartridge, sorry, card, um, will be, uh, will have like a notch on it so that, like the 3DS, the 3DS mm-hmm. games have a notch so it reads that and it doesn't fit in the regular DS. Switch 2 cards, cards will probably also be sort of the same form factor but have a notch on it so it wouldn't fit in a regular Switch. Mm. Um, yeah, was there anything else about that? No, I think it was just that, and um, I know, I know that the play tests, uh, it kind of ended. It did end. Okay, so nothing crazy public about that, right? No, they're not allowed to, and I can't believe so many people didn't really. Out of sight, like the first day, somebody was just straight up streaming everything they were playing. Yeah, that that first day there was so much coming out of that. And then a couple days later, uh huh, I've seen like real nothing, radio silence. Yeah. But apparently, people have kept playing it. Oh. Apparently, it was really fun. Um, Jeff Grubb of Giant Bomb uh, and Game Mess. I uh, I follow them a lot. He got he got in. He was he just applied and oh, he got wow. in like everybody else. So it was pretty cool that somebody who regularly reports on gaming news and stuff was able to get in. What wasn't cool is that because he's a journalist and he is integrity, he didn't talk about it. He oh. he he says you know. It's not allowed. It's not like they didn't sign an NDA. It's not a real official barring from talking mm. about it, but respect, you know, you yeah, gotta. It's not allowed. Yeah, just. So he didn't. Uh, he did give hints. Like he just said stuff like, you know, it was a lot of fun. He was really excited about it and he wanted to talk about it. Like mm. he wants to share his, his, his uh, thoughts on it, uh, but he couldn't. I'm not allowed to eat the peel. Huh? Oh. Not allowed. Yeah. Uh, Sunny? Yeah. Um. It's funny you say that about your Nintendo Switch Online uh, subscription because, like, not even two, three days ago, my PlayStation subscription, my gold, whatever, renewed. Plus. Oh. Yeah. For, like, $80. Yeah, like $80. For real? <laughs> yeah. Yikes. <laughs> and I didn't, I don't even use my PlayStation anymore, but I still have um, gold for those uh, free monthly games. Okay. Yeah, so I get uh, up to five or six games a month. If I just have that thing, that'll be able to be play on future systems that I might have. But where's your PlayStation right now? It's up in storage. Yeah, it's up in storage. Um, I have made the decision. I think I mentioned it here. I'm gonna try for a Steam Deck. I want a Steam Deck OLED. Um, it's pretty good because I believe I don't. I so my my PC was basically built so that I can get Street Fighter Six. Uh huh. Mortal Kombat 1 yep. and Tekken 8. I want to play those games. I have not purchased any of those yet. Oh, wow. Um, and I think the hurdle is the PC. 
I don't really want to do that here. Mm -hmm. But I know for a fact if I had a Steam Deck or Roger Ally or whatever, mm -hmm. a portable PC thing, yeah, I would be playing the hell out of those. Yeah, because you're super mobile, right? Yeah, I really like being wherever, like just sitting in the living room and playing whatever. I like mm -hmm. being on my bed, playing whatever. At lunch, at work, I'll take my Switch and I'll just mess around with that after I finish eating. It's fun. I like doing that instead of being at the computer. I don't know. And also, it's easier for me to have something on, like on my screen, mm -hmm. while I have another thing in my hand playing it. Um, and a lot of the stuff I watch nowadays, I need to read the subtitles. There's no other option. Yeah. Um, so it's even harder for me to even set aside time to just game. Um, cause I gotta read the translations for these NMIX videos. I can't just, I don't know Korean guys. Um, is that pretty much it for the week? I think so. I don't have anything else for like news or anything. Yeah, I don't think so either. Wait, did I get into any buffoonery? Buffoonery? Nah. Buffoonery. Uh, nah. so then we can move into the comic Kletcon. So, last no, before that, Halloween. Mm. Put some of those pictures in here. Halloween. Uh, in on, on Halloween, um. We dressed up. I may have talked about it last week, but I was Jake the dog and my niece was Finn the human. Um, for her Finn the human costume, I decided to make her her sword from Adventure Time. Uh, it's called Scarlet. That's the name of the sword. Oh, wow. Um, and I made it out of cardboard. This is my first time doing this. I've never made a sword before. Not like this. Um, so here's a picture of the in progress stuff. Handle. It's the handle. I made it. 3d so you can hold it like an actual you know sword and i wanted to make it a good size so there it is painted it's not done yet oh, it is done i just didn't <laughs> I, my dumbass didn't put a picture of it finished uh, but trust me it has a little red circle on the bottom and i taped the hilt so it looks like right nice uh, actually if you want to see more of it go to my instagram go to my twitter go to my tiktok no i didn't put it on oh i no I, there's a tiktok challenge on tiktok mm. uh that we did uh, but yeah, this is a lot of fun. Uh, jump scare warning. There I am. Jake the dog. I am Jake the dog. Uh, this was one of the better Halloween costumes I've put. It was very low effort, but it works. Um, I think I mentioned it last week where I was for sure that they were going to recognize her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My niece. Yeah, you said uh, that. And then uh, they saw me and they said oh jake dog before they and then i you know, mo motioned at her who about her <laughs> um but that's us nice I, bmo yeah oh she had a bmo she also made a, a little snail. snail yeah that's awesome uh she made a um, and a backpack and the backpack for for finn as well yeah she did mm -hmm. she made the lich snail yeah um so yeah that was a lot of fun that was a lot of fun uh, walking around the neighborhood doing stuff you know the trick-or-treating um i also every time her and i took pictures she's already a bit taller than me um but i made sure specifically to scratch down a little bit because jake is <laughs> a lot smaller than finn yeah um but yeah that was fun okay so collecticon happened um i just took some pictures of a couple of merch items uh, i really like this little dragonite He's holding on to it with the little string like he's struggling. I like mm -hmm. that a lot. Uh, this picture was actually for my niece. She's mm -hmm. a big Coraline person. Uh, this was a cool little backpack that I saw there. Um, so, yeah, since last time we didn't really get into it, what did you feel? How did you th think about the, the show? And this is our third Collecticon? Yeah. Because they're here every, twice every year. <gasps> and uh, we went to one last year at the... like. Around this time last year, mm -hmm. and, we went and then to the we went to the one year. the beginning of the year this year, and now we're here again. Wow, I liked it as much as I did last time. It was a lot of uh, focused um, buying and viewing of everything. I, I knew pretty much the, the first time we went, I was like an exploratory thing, like see what's there, see the people, and all that. That's where I found my uh, card connect, my Japanese card connect for the Gotchard stuff. Oh, was he here? He was not there huh. uh, this time. But yeah, I 
And now every time I go, it's for an objective. I'm gonna go. So this time is just like when I was in California, I went to the uh, the um, Frankincense. I was looking for all Hasune Miku Weiss cards. And that's what I was doing here. I was trying to find anybody that had those cards or any other, um, how do you say, trading cards like that or Miku cards in any way. And I would got some stuff for Weiss, but I was just really just like looking for certain people. And we'll show some of the stuff you got later. Yeah. It was pretty uh, good. I, like, I liked it a lot. I like going to these. Um, once again, every almost every booth had Pokemon. Uh, it's not dead yet. I don't remember if the trading card game app pocket thing was out when we went. I don't think so. Right? Yeah. I would have. Because you would have been on there. People. That. Everybody would have been yeah, on that Yeah, would have been shit. on there. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I don't think it was because. Damn. Yes. Yeah. Wait. That was last weekend? Yeah. Last Sunday. What? Dude, it feels like we've had that app for way longer than that. It's only been a week that you've had the app. Let me see. It's only been like five days, hasn't it? TCG. Pocket. No way it's been five days. Uh, we went last weekend. Three weeks ago. Launch. Uh, launch is today. October 20th. It was before Halloween. Interesting. It, so it was out. Well, no one was just playing it? Probably. I feel like you would have been playing it. I think I was playing it. You, huh. you know what? What? I think you were. I think you were doing the auto battle things while I was looking at those Weiss cards, weren't you? I don't remember. Kitty brain. Uh, it's been over 10 minutes. I can curse. Um, anyway, this was a giant Snorlax plushie. Yeah. If you can see. Pretty good. He had to be hauled in on this fucking <laughs> cart. Nice. Um, yeah, he was really big. I was going to take a selfie in front of it um pretty cool but it didn't convey his size well enough like these are look at these yeah yeah wow um oh god this was just a cute little card i thought mm -hmm. pikachu in a businessman suit for 80 dollars it's uh, a mint though it's nine it's a nine yeah and then oh my i saw god. these as well 5k ridiculous team aqua team magma five day mm -hmm. five. i took these pictures for omar our brother mm -hmm. yeah five thousand dollars 5k for p for uh uh black 10 charizard are these 10 too yeah they're 10 yeah they're both pristine wow oh, i'm oh. sorry not black beckett uh beckett yeah everyone just calls him black though right uh i don't know that's what i hear i don't know like psa uh and then this piece of i didn't buy anything by the way at collecticon mm -hmm. uh i bought popcorn <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah yeah. but uh i sold some cards which is kind of cool you didn't buy anything i did not buy cards anything. not oh, amazing no, just popcorn wow. uh hmm? well i almost got a new sitting cutie uh but i decided against it mm-hmm I uh, almost got Tyranitar. Now I regret it deeply. There was also a Slurpuff plush that they had with his tongue. It was huge. Um, I didn't get that. I regret that less, but it still would have been nice because he had like a keychain. So I could have been obnoxious and held it, had it around the whole time. Would have been cute. Um, and then I took this picture for a friend of mine who loves uh, Buffalant. That's the name Buffalant? Yeah. That's awesome. He has an afro. I really like the hair. Well, I really, I really like the horns coming out of the hair. Afro bull. Uh, and then here's your stuff. So, are you ready? Yes. Here's some of the stuff I got at Collecticon. I got that uh, Dengeki Bunko 30th Anniversary Weiss uh, JP box, along with some uh, single packs for SAO. Oh, that's what I could have. That's better for this. Um, SAO just got beat in real life. Huh? Oh, it got beat. Yeah, it just got beat. I heard about that. Kirito just beat SAO the other day. Yeah. And uh, a bunch of players got released, and some of them didn't. Yeah. Mm. What does that mean? It's in the story. Some of the characters stayed in the game, got snatched up by another developer, and that's where 
uh, the fairies come on the the second part of Sao One, which is a uh, Hell Hellheim online. So in real life, Sao is like season one still. Yeah, Sao is still season one right now. We're we're in the middle of season one right now. Yeah, pretty crazy. But yeah, so here's some of the singles I got for the you know for Sao. I was very big on that. I have some uh, uh, quintessential back there. I've, I got two packets of that. Nothing. And then I got these uh, these cell cards. I think they're called cell shades or cell somethings uh, for Chainsaw Man. I love Chainsaw Man. I love this idea of having like little shells, the uh, little cells of the characters. So I got like five of them. There's three in each. So I got a bunch. I only got one um, super rare, which is a uh, Katana Man. But my favorite is Kobeni right there. She's just super. She's just rare. Oh, is that the one behind? Yeah, the one behind Kobeni. The one in the front. The purple one. But yeah, yeah I'm looking forward to uh, opening the rest of that Ding Dengeki Bunko because I don't have any of... Th that's my first uh, box of that. Mm. I'm looking forward to seeing what I get. And the next... These are all the cards that I got. The singles that I got from some of the booths. Uh, I didn't know you bought Katie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why? It's like the only Pokemon trainer that like I saw that I've ever seen and like actually wanted. Because of the art? Yeah. It's like it's so good. Can you guess what type she 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 is? What is she? Uh, what is she? Uh, a grass type? No. What is she? A bug type? Yeah. Yeah. From the spider. Yeah. He looks like she's from uh, Italy. It's a Spanish region. But oh, really? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. So going from the top, I tried to get all the Miku cards I could get. Those two are from Project Sekai, but they're still Miku, so I got them anyways. Uh, next to it is from the actual Project Diva, which is Miku. It's the... Uh, it's um, Rin's... I forget the name, but it's her holo card. Next to it, Ruby. Uh, it was only $1. I had to pick it up. Because all the Ruby cards, you know, it's not making any more. And I just wanted to get some. And I, I don't have that card with all the boxes that I've got for that set. Uh, and I got Mori. It's crazy. It's a dollar. Yeah, right? That's crazy. I got Mori right there. Along with some more SAO 10th, which is a different SAO 10th. Uh, the next two are SAO 10th from the manga. Or from the, um, from the, uh, not the manga. The one before that. Which was the um, light novel? Light novel. There it is. Oh, yeah. Shit. Yeah, you're right. So they they Weiss had a 10th anniversary for the light novel, and then a 10th anniversary for the anime. So the 10th anniversary that I got those single packs are from the anime. Those two cards, three cards right there, are from or to just those two are from the uh, from the light novel set. Which oh my god, they're so good. That one's ten dollars, five dollars. The the next one is uh, SAO from the anime 10th anniversary, five dollars, which was crazy. I thought that was going for way less. Uh, Katie, great. And then uh, Kirito and Asuna, but from the movie Ordinal Scale, not from anything else. This is like uh, before the recent anime came out, that was the most in the present um, or the most in the plot development SAO was at, which was or Ordinal Scale, the movie. And then after that came the anime, which is now the most recent thing. Which is why I wanted to get it. I do remember now. I'm sorry. What? The TG Pocket was out because the day before was our sister's birthday party. Mm hmm And I remember playing it there. For oh, sure. okay. Um, Sweet. Yeah. And uh, the last two cards, which I'm trying to complete that set of uh, Spy Family uh, specials. It's Lloyd and Becky. Uh, the guy that I bought these from really didn't care about spy family or these cards at all so i was like how much so, uh, I, was, I was asking him for miku right he showed me a um, miku from quintessential and i was like no i'm looking for hasane miku he's like okay i don't have any of that and i was like okay uh what about that lloyd right there he said oh yeah that, that lloyd right there it goes for like 90 95 so he says yeah i'll give it to you for 90 i was like oh that's pretty good because i was checking beforehand like oh okay that's pretty good uh but no i can't right now like okay well i'll give it to you for uh 85 
okay, no, I mean, that's okay. It's all right. It's like, I don't want it, dude. I'll give it to you for 80. It's like, no. It's like, okay, wait, hold on. I'll give it to you for 75 and I'll throw in Becky for like 15 bucks. I said, okay, yeah, sure. He sold it to me for so cheap. Those cards mm. go for like so much more than that. So I got, I got Lloyd for 75 and then Becky for $15. I was in English. Yeah. Uh, Lloyd goes for 95 and Becky goes for 30, 35. So that's pretty good. It's very, very good. What the hell? They're in English, but also in Jap. I don't get it. Uh, yeah, he didn't, he didn't really care about these cards at all. And he just wanted them gone. So I picked them up for him. Very nice. Cool. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep going to that guy. Um, I don't have his titles or anything. I, I, I don't remember what his, uh, what his group's Instagram and all that are, but I, I, I can pull that up later. Can you? Yeah, I still have the receipt from the guy. Okay, cool. Yeah. Because yeah. I was trying to remember based on the girl that was at the booth next to his. Oh, yeah, yeah, with yeah. The Hollow Live stuff. Yeah. But I remember she had. I've seen her before because I remember that booth with the poke. She's a bunch of Pokemon stuff. Mm -hmm. I've seen that. Where it's like a corner. Uh, scaffolding type thing that she has uh -huh. and you can see that she has like some sitting cuties and a bunch of sleeves and I've seen her around before <sighs> I want to say it was something like Ugh. lazy Psyduck or something no I, maybe I'm wrong I don't know I don't remember I feel like I saw a sign in, an insignia though it's actually lazy uh, toga kiss well actually toga kiss yeah toga it's wild no toga kiss yeah well, what is Togekiss? It's the last evolution of Togepi. Oh, shit. Togepi, Togetic, Togekiss. I meant the first one. Is it Togepi? The very first one, yeah, Togepi. First one. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, that does everything at uh, Kletzcon. I'm done done with that. Now I'm going to wait for um, the next event that happens here in Houston, which I think is going to be oh, in August. No. Is, is there not stuff? Or is there stuff in the beginning of the year? Well, Collecticon. Remember? I mean, just because. Oh yeah, but but also, NostalgiaCon is December second oh, yeah, and third. I haven't decided if we're doing that yet. I don't have. Okay, I shouldn't say that. Like I make all decisions. I haven't decided if I'm going yet. Um, it's really expensive, and it sounds like it might be a bad time based mm. on some of the comments on what their experience was in the San Antonio event. Mm. Also, they still have Kevin Spacey going, which is why he's an awful person. Do you know about him, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. So that I don't. That's that sucks. I don't want to give them money, where they're going to give money to to him. Um. But Toku Spirits is going to be there. Real yeah, yeah. Tuzawa is going to be there. Uh, I sorry, I forget his name. Burai, he's gonna be there. Burai. Um, I think one more. I don't remember who. And then, digitally, virtually, mm -hmm. Rika Matsumoto is gonna be there too. Wow. After her skipping out on coming during Tokyo X, mm -hmm. uh, and it's not her skipping out. Whatever happened there, you know, I could have, we could have met her this year. Um. But yeah, it looks like Toku Spirits is is sponsoring her to 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 virtually be here. Yep, NostalgiaCon Houston, November December sixth to the eighth. Pretty good. Yeah. Um, the main reason I would want to go is for my niece again to see Jeremy Shada. Oh yeah. Um, which would be cool for her. Uh, I would love it if John DiMaggio was there. Jeremy Shada, for those who don't know, is Finn. Yeah. Been the Uman. The voice of Finn. Yeah. They didn't change it. Um, you know, he's a buff baby. <laughs> yeah, he's he's great. And he's uh he's he's actually really cool. He's he's on TikTok. Oh he is? Yeah. Here, let, oh. me, let me see if I can pull up a TikTok to send it to you. He's also um he was in that weird live action show, sketch show on Cartoon Network. Yeah, he like, whenever he was a little bit older. That was during Adventure. He was still doing Adventure oh, Time. Oh, really? Yeah, well, yeah, because oh, wow. Adventure Time didn't stop till like two years ago, three years ago. Yeah. The Lands of Ooh or whatever. Tales of Ooh. Uh. 
like I mentioned earlier, it's been a rough week. Uh, Tuesday really tail spinned a lot of stuff. But yesterday, speaking of TCG Pocket, yesterday or Thursday, I think it was yesterday. Yeah, because my brother wasn't at work. The other brother. Oh my God, Jeremy Shard is going to be a dad? Oh no, when did that get announced? On <laughs> the 5th of March. Damn, that's a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's why he's doing these appearances. That was his last TikTok. Um, yeah, Friday, yesterday. Um, speaking Again, speaking of TCG Pocket, I've been trying and trying and trying and trying to get one card. I'll let you guess. Trying to get one card? From the to Pokemon TCG Pocket. Is it Ivysaur? No. Is, that was your one guess. It, it was Blastoise. <laughs> <laughs> and I finally got him. I got him yesterday. So happy. Um, I had a brush in my hand that I was cleaning with. Uh, as soon as the card turned over, I threw it. I almost wanted to throw my phone too. I got so excited, so hyped. Uh, this is a screenshot from that event. Nice. I was so happy. Earlier that day, in the morning, so when it turned Friday in Japan, uh, on Twitter, uh, we there was an announcement that... Miai is coming back for a holiday single called Sweetie. So they had concept photos, and there she's in the podcast. I did it. Um, so it was fun. All day Friday, I was riding on the high of a new ran holiday picture teaser thing and my boy Blastoise. Um, that's not my pinned tweet uh, because those two are my sources of happiness right now. Um, so I was hanging on to that all day yesterday. I'm going to keep hanging on to it um for a while uh it just it, it's so fun and nice to have these two to remind me that happiness still exists jesus uh yeah uh and that's it that's how i want to end our week and talk discussion thing and let's do it did you have anything else uh no 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 okay what? What do you? What do you I think? don't know. You, you seem dead. Yeah. Why? Well, I'm trying to remember what else, because I don't feel. I feel like I've done nothing this week. Um, well, your rear brake line got <laughs> cut. I meant like happy. Oh. Yeah. Um. No, you. Well, I mean, you walked around with that shirt you had the at the Collecticon, the shirt from that podcast thing. Oh yeah, my my Rat and Grackle tee. Yeah. Was it that, that shirt? No, it wasn't. Oh no, it, it was, was it was my one hundred percent eat shirt. There it is. Yeah, it was pretty good. Somebody they liked it, didn't they? Didn't no. So the, that was you. The Blastoise shirt. Yeah. Oh okay. That that, that was pretty good too. Oh. I thought okay, that, that's actually a funny thing. Uh, so as we were walking into Collecticon, there was another group of people. I think it was just two walking towards us, and they were like, "Hey, nice shirt!" Mm -hmm. uh, "Hey, nice shirt, guy!" And I, I turn around and be like, "Oh, thanks." They were pointing at you. Oh, <laughs> uh, oops! I think I think it was, I thought it was okay. Clearly, to now, I thought yeah. it was you. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I I turned around and be like, "Oh, thank you." I didn't get. I didn't say it because mm -hmm. they saw that they were looking at you. It was like, "Oh, geez." Oops. <laughs> uh, my shirt viewer was yeah my Blastoise. It's really good. Uh, Baja Blastoise shirt. Yeah, it is really good. It's really good. Uh, the only thing is it is black. They have a variant where it's the teal color mm. of the Baja Blast. I want that version of the shirt too. Uh, but every time I go there, they don't have my size. Every time. Um, I, even though I got that one in my size, mm -hmm. uh, when I told him, he said... When you know, when I asked him for the size, he goes, "Oh no, just sold out this morning. Somebody came in and got it." Damn! Don't tell me that. Like, <laughs> just say you don't have it. Don't like give me that bad FOMO. That's hilarious. Um, Why would they do that? Yeah, to make me get there earlier. Yeah. Uh, the who knows the next time. The last day. <laughs> Watch them be there at uh, NostalgiaCon, and then I'm mm. gonna have to go. Well, I the last time we went to CollectCon, I wanted to get those. Um, those MMPR shirts, the super big ones. Didn't, but didn't you? I, I got the one of them, but I wanted to get the one with the helmet. And 
th whenever we went this time, I was really looking for like shirts and merch and all that, you know, for like Baja Blast toys or the Scizor pizza or whatever, you mm -hmm. know, like that stuff. I couldn't find it. It wasn't there. Little Caesars. Yeah. Um, yeah, Little Caesars. <laughs> Om Omar has that one. Yeah. There was another shirt that they had that mm -hmm. I almost got Omar that he didn't, he said no, but I, he probably regrets it now. Uh, Raising Canes. Oh, yeah. But instead of raising canes it's mm. like that logo but it has blazing on it so yeah. it's blazy canes yeah blazy canes um very cool that yeah that would be perfect uh yeah that would have been cool i don't know what lucario store brand you would have for yeah your... I, I was trying to think of that i don't know right because it's it would have to be like luca or something and the only thing luca i know is like luca's pizza what's you know, that like pizza thing oh uh, uh yeah no i have no idea i don't know i don't know i don't know yo no sé uh, lucario skywalker but that's not like a brand oh yeah um luke gobbles like lunch, lunch leaves no uh no, okay yeah. we've gone on long enough this is about 40 minutes long so we're gonna oh geez take a break here when we come back we're going to talk about Super Hero Time. We'll be right back. And we're back. What's this? This is Gav, Episode 9, Trick or Dance. On the episode, but on the wiki, it is... Trick or dance. Oh. They did it. That's not hard. No, it's Toriku Oa Dansu. No. Yes, it is. Wow. Yep. The Phonetically, it is Toriku Oa Dansu. So again, this is a screenshot of the title card drop. This is not the beginning of the episode. Still. Yeah. Uh, this is the beginning of the episode. Hey, it's Halloween. And I've got some grievances. It's Halloween. Oh, look at the hearts. Um, mm -hmm. So they got dressed up and they're doing trick or treating, right? With the kids coming in. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're wearing little costumes. It's daytime, whatever. Who cares? It's like 12 p.m., right? Because mm -hmm. the, the, the girls are still dancing, practicing, or whatever, yeah. and all this. This is all we got of her and her costume. There's no other. Oh, okay. She's uh, not even that about the costume. She's barely in the episode. Yeah. This is it. She's stuck in the house. She doesn't leave the house. Whatever this fucking building is. She's stuck here. She never exits the, the scene or anything. It stinks. Um, I wished there was more of her, obviously, as every week uh, in the episode. Especially, she's wearing this cute little witch's costume thing. Whatever. Pumpkin witch, right? Yeah, just a witch. Pumpkin witch. A lot of orange and his, red. His costume is the inflatable in the background. Yeah, that's I, I noticed that too. Yeah. Yeah, I, so I th I guess that's a thing in Japan. It's a yeah. three-headed, three-stack-headed jack-o'-lantern Yeah, because I've thing. never seen that over here. But it's a good costume idea. Just, like, just put it on like how my Taku costume. Yeah. Just put it on, that's it. Yeah, look, he's the third head. Like, <laughs> even down to the witch hat. Like, that's got to be a thing. Yeah, no, yeah, for sure. Yeah. It has to be a thing. Um, Pirate, vampire, ghost. Ghost, though. <laughs> uh, Pretty good. Yeah, look, Gokaiger, Kiva, and ghost, though. Oh, look at that. And then Punkaboo. Punkaboo. Punk Jack. Uh, yeah, it just, it sucks uh, that she's not in this episode much. Uh, there he is doing that fucking mouth thing again. Wait, so real quick, what did you... <laughs> oh, yeah. So uh, I, I really like this episode a lot. It, although it is the Halloween episode, it's not very much centric in Halloween. The title is Trick or Dance. Uh, it's about a mysterious tunnel and Hanto's uh, detective skills uh, and learning to be his own detective. He talks to a uh, dancing aspiring idol girl and uh, is trying to get more leads about the monsters in the city. Yeah. So... Um, I included this screenshot because he does this, uh -huh. I think, when he's trying to get he, serious, maybe? He's, he's, he's doing the smirk. But did he 
just does one side of his mouth. It's kind of it's funny looking. So it's like he's clenching his uh, his his cheek. From the the, the account that posted this. Can you read it? Toilet Oni Onin. Yeah. You see the picture? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a, fuck, it's a toilet. It's a toilet. That's awesome, actually. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I really like this episode. Uh, for the fight, the fight felt really weird, but I liked it because of that. And I liked um that we're going back to helping people the week by week thing. So we're here with Hanto, as he tries to help uh the this one girl, and trying to figure out what's going on with the tunnel that's apparently making kids disappear uh i highlighted this because of her shirt mm. i didn't even read it dude achieve 1983 always be honest what the hell what is any of that? what happened in 1983 <laughs> you achieved and you were very truthful that's what happened major event what happened in 1983 the united states and oh i thought you were gonna type in achieve 1983 always be honest mm -mm. i can't i can't read that uh, the Disney Channel launches in 1983. No, type in Achieve 1983. Always want to see if there's like a correlation to oh, that okay. shirt. Uh, yeah. Um, so this did kind of... Is that a Kingdom Hearts towel? That looks like a Kingdom Hearts towel. It looks towel. like a Kingdom Hearts thing. Um, this scene gave me... Uh, well, kind of. Us flashbacks to that legendary scene in Zenkaiger. There's no correlation. No, it's just it's just just words on the shirt. Yeah. Okay. Um. In Zenkai, there's an episode where a girl makes a little paper doll thing, like a craft your own doll. Pretty good. And she was gonna go have a lunch date with her friends to show it off. She didn't like how it came out. Um, but the way it's presented is as if these little girls were grown people. Mm-hmm. Scheduling their own lunch dates, walking the streets to go to wherever they're going to go with their little purses. It was hilarious. Like if they were just people. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. I probably have to rewatch that to see if they have the little alarms that they have in this episode. Mm -hmm. I doubt it. Um, but it was funny because just the idea of like, hey, uh, hey, Yuka, you want to go to have lunch today? I'm going to show you my like, it's just the idea of that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is also the same kind of vein where the, the little kids are out living their life. Uh, the difference to me is that here it's very clearly shown that they're kids. Yeah. And the other one, while they had a doll, it felt more like they were on their own doing things. Yeah, they were kids, but they were as if they were adults. Like like yeah. they had the day off. Right, right. And they were going to go catch. I don't know. I, I, I should just rewatch that episode because it was. It was if, if, if you want to know the scene we're talking about, just look it up on Twitter. It's hilarious. It's Zenkaiger, uh, Majin, and yeah. Flint are featured in that episode. Oh, Flint. The girls. Uh, but here, no, yeah, like you're saying, they're, well, they're very clearly, um, you know, their age. They have the alarms that they have on their backpacks, which is so cool. Yeah, I remember when those were coming out here in the, in the states. Very yeah. cool. Uh, creepy man is creepy. Yeah, with his coat. Yeah, he overhears the girls talking about monsters and about a tunnel that might have a monster that a one uh, of their classmates. Huh? One, yep. yeah, one of their class. Did we ever see her? Okay, never mind. No, no, we haven't talked about. We not. We haven't watched it officially yet. Right. Uh, but, one but, of their right. But we watched the live episode today. Just FYI. One of their classmates uh, has apparently gone missing in one of the tunnels near their uh dance school and what they attributed to is a monster down there in the tunnel so don't go to that tunnel now what's crazy about this is be when this whole thing started the girls were talking the girls were talking about dancing and how hard it is to do this yeah and that and the other this step blah 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 I just think it's funny to think that he was already listening like mm -hmm. to that part until they got to the monster part. And then he got interested. And then like before he's just like, huh? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, there's not much of them in this episode either. Like, no, yeah. they do. They are the antagonistic force at the end, kind of. Mm -hmm. uh, but they're not doing anything. They're standing there kind of. Mm -hmm. um, I just noticed they have those little baton things like. Uh, little keychains. Like. Um gluten has what's her name Gre yeah G glutta yeah uh Gulota. so they all have to have their own like weapon things weapon thing i bet i wonder what theirs is 
I never noticed that, but now that I see it, it's like, oh yeah, they've been there the whole time, huh? Yeah, they're they're. The, hopefully, they'll get into some fights later. I like how you can't see their uh, their bottom halves because one of them is clearly shorter. Yeah. Yeah, these two are just scheming the whole time since since they've been uh, canned. They were fired, and yeah. then they get help from. Uh, Jeep. No, no, no. Uh, Nelv. N n naval. Um, this is a bad shot, but I have been thinking. This dude looks like Hyen from New Jeans the whole time. H y e i n. If you want to look it up, Tony uh, from New Jeans. He looks. They look alike, in my opinion. Um, How yeah. so? You don't see it? No. Well, okay. I mean, I, I I see the I see the chin. The the eyes and the really big cheeks. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. 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 Um, but she's the youngest member of New Jeans. She's like sixteen. Uh, so I feel oh, bad no. about comparing them. You're comparing the 16 year old girl to a fully grown man. However, <laughs> look at the screen. Okay. True that. Okay. So true that. True that. True they're that. supposed to be twins. Yes. <laughs> uh, so we're going to move on. <clears throat> uh, uh, new devices. Uh, these are really cool props. These are just uh, camping lanterns. I have one of these. It's hilarious. I saw them. I didn't notice it here, but when they pulled them out in the fight, and I saw what they did. They just pull up and lights are there. I was like, oh, I have that in my room right now. I would love to have a briefcase with foam like this that I can do whatever I want with, just like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, Back in the base. Back in the void. And they want another chance. Yeah, they want to just let us do something. And they get the chance. And they're going to... This is what they're doing over here. Is they're trying to get a new plan to take, him out, take out Red Gav. Boo. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then Hyen comes here and he he gives them this guy. Which is uh, a crab man. Yeah. Creepy man does creepy things. And he has tears in his eyes this whole scene. He's a crier, isn't yeah. he? Just Look, everything. She's already holding her little tag thing. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. And her shirt wasn't that. It just has cute on it. Love and peace. Whatever. That's fine. Love and Achieve peace. 1983. Always be honest. That's Well, I mean... Crazy. In 1983, you always have to be honest. Yeah. And uh, what what do they say? Like, oh, this must be a kidnapper. Yeah. Go away, kidnapper. And then she pulls on her tag, does the yeah. alarm thing, and everyone around him just starts staring. Yeah. She is pulling it. <laughs> oh, I, I like this a lot. Or she, you know, protects her friend. Get the fuck out of No, she doesn't say that. She should. Um, In English. She was, run away, run away. And I, I think it's funny. <laughs> I didn't get a picture of it, but suddenly... At this point, there's like four or five businessmen walking yeah, by. I was, I was gonna say that. that it like, was just them three in the scene. Yeah. And then that, the thing pops off. And it was it to me from what it looked like. It was three, four, five businessmen. Mm -hmm. No women. Mm -mm. No normal people. They all had like their black ties and suits. It was weird. Pretty cool. Um, yeah. Oh, and it looks like he followed those kids. No, that's a king. These are yeah, different it's a kids. King. Uh, that's what you were saying too. That kings like always like a. Costume? King is a popular costume yeah. in uh, in Japan for Halloween. Uh, so, <laughs> Gava learns about Halloween in this episode, and he learns that kids, or you, not kids, they don't say kids, you go out, go door to door, and ask for, or uh, say Halloween, and they give you candy. Halloween. He doesn't know that it's for just kids. So, he goes around the houses following the kids, saying, Happy Halloween, trick or treat. And the uh, everyone he sees is just like, what the hell mm -hmm. are you doing? All the adults. Who the fuck? This one was good because he was like, I don't have anything set up. Do I look like I'm... Yeah. And he even like reasons to his pockets. <laughs> but yeah, show him a stomach is like, happy Halloween, dude. Yeah. Like for real, he's like, I'm here with my costume. Come on. Um. So yeah, he, he got some candy and this was weird too. She's just standing there menacingly. Yeah. And she pretends she doesn't want oh, any. It's so good. That was hilarious. Whenever we saw the scene, he has this candy. He's like, oh, I'm, I'm going to eat this candy. It's so good. She sees it. He notices her seeing it. And then she looks away like, I wasn't just looking at that. Now, <laughs> it is interesting the difference in how the dynamics play here between this little girl and grown man. Because mm -hmm. grown man, this is still. Yes. But she's approaching him now. And it's A-OK. -okay. Right. Um... But again, he's still a grown man. Yeah. And then he shows up, and no, nope, no, nope. she—he's immediately her friend. Like, yeah, <laughs> she, he is immediately there to, to her at least, to protect her. I think, 
I think it's mainly the costume. Sure, like but, nobody but, that autistic but, can be that bad. But still, but still, grown man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and there she goes, is incredibly fast speed, boom boom, just style. Mm-hmm. Um, in front of this bakery. Yeah. And Not then so this, in the bakery, man. What is this? Like sugar bread? Not sugar bread. Sweet bread? So they, they took a bite out of it and it has like a cream inside of it. Oh. So it's like a, um, what do you, what, what do you call those? It's like, um. Bread. No. Well, yes. But it, it's like how that shape is. It's, it, it's a clamshell with cream on the inside. Like, okay. Like a pearl. I forget the name of it. But yeah. Oh, this is good. Here, I'll let you do this because this is the boon boon well, I don't. I don't have any. I don't have the video of it, but yeah, this scene helped grow the meme of uh, the ending song for Boom Boomer. Yeah, where it's the traffic safety tips. Um, they spliced this scene, and it goes. You know, the music. This scene and the music again. It's yeah. It's, it's hilarious. It's perfect. It's great. Um, look it up on twitter it's awesome yeah <laughs> maybe if i didn't i'll retweet it again mm -hmm. um but yeah it's really stupid is this on blue sky too did, did they make memes on blue sky about this i don't know i need i need to set up alerts on blue sky so i can get them more um but yeah this was great you say it now and i'll just say it before i forget okay uh, i think what will help blue sky ultimately because i want to be on blue sky more than i do want to be on twitter um i think what'll get people to move to blue sky is if all of the brands stopped posting on twitter yeah started posting on blue sky and that's it if you can get because you'll get shit posts like that you get people who respond to nintendo asking for mm -hmm. switch three yeah anytime nintendo blue sky is anything you'll get people asking a uh, pokemon stupid stuff any you know arby's if the big brands moved over to blue sky good uh, the only big brand that I've seen, and I don't even know if it's official or not, but twice is on Blue Sky. Oh, okay. And it says twice official Blue Sky account or something. Again, oh, wow. it could be fake. It could be a fan that did it. Mm -hmm. uh, but it is keeping up with everything that is tweeted is also oh, there. Oh, that's um, awesome. And that's only my experience. Even like Nmix does not have an official account there. I mean, I, just, I have like fan accounts who do that. Mm-hmm. That Twice one is the only one. And I've looked up Nintendo. I've looked up Pokemon. I've looked up whatever brands that I follow on Twitter. Yeah. And I can't, I'm not really seeing anything. Oh, so man. in my opinion, you want to get more people to Blue Sky, you get the brands there. Um, and I don't know if the reason they're on Twitter at first was because they were getting deals. They were getting paid to advertise on Twitter. Clearly, they're not doing that anymore. Uh, now, it's just that's where fucking the internet lives. Yeah. The hateful internet i really want to leave twitter especially because of tuesday but it's where it is it's where it's all at so whatever um yeah this was a funny scene because because he screams at her too it's not like a no yeah straight up it's not a fun hey make sure you look before you cross the road it's get down out of the street he he yeah. he catches her as she's about to get hit by this car like why isekai. are you running it's, it's green it's yeah. red yeah and it's he, like, he even catches himself he's like oh shit i yelled at the kid <laughs> and she uh, looks all sad yeah it's pretty good and then um this creepo is just gonna sit with her now yeah uh he wants to get more info about the monster yeah so he has to ask this girl specifically about mm -hmm. it because he's just the one that he caught right <laughs> uh <laughs> um so that's the tunnel right there again big crier yeah he's just got tears in his eyes the whole time he remind he remembered of this yeah he's fueled. and it's not an episode of gov with valen oh, yeah. without without this kid without this look at him look at that kid man with his basketball and his non teary eyes just utter disbelief <laughs> uh hopefully when he grows up he'll be a writer yes um yeah so they talk about um she explains how she wants to be an idol and she likes this other um she likes her school and she likes the people and her friend that is a big idol she can sing she can dance and all that and that's what she aspires to be uh more and more and hanto wants to know more about the tunnel where she has supposedly gone missing oh no yeah so she so hanto goes since he wants to get more info goes to the school to talk to anybody else to see if they know anything else but they're in the middle of a dance class, so he doesn't go in. But as he looks in there, he sees the dance instructor uh, 
is covering up his stomach. And from what he learned at last episode, the people, the granutes can be human disguises, but they always show the mouth stomach every time. This is a good picture because the girl with the red pants, <laughs> she knows. I didn't see. The, she knows purple shirt girl is acting. So it looks like she's just like judging yeah. her acting. Judging real hard. Like looking like, oh, let's see how she reacts again. I don't know. It looks funny. Like, Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. So, um, so Hanto waits outside for the instructor uh, and waits for the girl as well to see if he's a granite. Well, cause she's bummed out because she didn't get a candy because she wants to lose weight because idol culture is scary. Uh, speaking of, right. I'm, you know, K-pop, J-pop man guy. Um... I should have eaten this episode up more. Um, but I didn't. It was whatever to me. The guy, probably because this episode is called Trick or Dance. Or Treater. Is it Trick or Dance? Yeah, Trick or Dance. I don't think it committed to either of those. Uh, there's not much dancing. Uh, and there's not much trick or treating either. Um... But yeah, I, I, the idols and shit that I follow, obviously, A are much older, uh, but there is a smaller group with girls, girls, um, in LDH called Lucky Lucky. They're about this girl's age. Um, when I see stuff like this, I always wish, oh, they should have got real idol or whatever to get in here because they used to do that. Uh, in Comrade Double, mm -hmm. there's recurring characters. Uh, who are like Ganguro girls? You remember those? Uh, no. They are like the tan Japanese spray tan girls who have orange skin and blonde hair. You talking, you talking about heavy? Talking about gals? Yeah, gang Ganguro girls. Ganguro. Oh, is that yeah. like their full name? I think that's what they're called. Oh. Uh. Anyway, there was two idol two idols who played those characters in double. Like oh, they were Ganguro gals. Yeah. Yes. They like new stuff. Yes on the street you know they whatever mm. uh so double would get doubles the investigator he would get information from them and those two of those two actor ladies were actually from akb48 really big oh, yeah, yeah. No, okay. yeah. no, yes uh akb48 i remember you telling me about that because there was a korean version and then a chinese version right there's, uh there's the, eventually yeah right yeah, but yeah, also yeah. akb48 saying sugar rush for record ralph yes yes and yes, yes, yes. um uh, heavy rotation. No, you don't know that. No, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, but I, I remember you telling me about yeah that they're they're big. Yeah, AKB48. So like I said, back in the day, they would just straight up get idols to play these parts. That would be cool if they got idol girls, actual that know how to do this stuff. Yeah, not to discredit these girls acting or whatever, but it just would have been nice to be like, oh, they're and you can follow them in their music and yeah. go go on from that. That's fine. Um, let me see. So yeah, he goes and keeps on talking about. Uh, about his search for the monster, right? So he keeps talking to her about it, and she keeps on telling him about uh, her struggles and all that, and her uh, insecurities. So he tries to help, right? He tries to help this person uh, in need. I, really, I guess. I really like those shorts. They're like Donald Duck shorts. Oh, where I they see. Like puff out, and then they have the that looks cool. They, they're like you know what they look like Kingdom Hearts shorts. There she is again. This is a Kingdom Hearts girl. We figured it out. She had that towel earlier. Yeah. Um, and then after, uh, she. Oh yeah, her friend gives her the. Yeah, after after the cookie, but she doesn't want to eat it again because you know idol culture. Uh, but yeah, and she's like, well, one more. No, that's later. Yes, yeah, one more hurt. But as uh, everyone's walking out because the class just ended, uh, Hanto sees the instructor looking shady as shit, mm -hmm. crazy shade with hat, glasses, trench coat, all of it. Mm -hmm craziness and she holds on to that because you know ah, i can't hurt one just one so there's gob what why was he tired here um i don't remember but if i had to guess it was because he couldn't get any more candy everyone was promptly telling him hey man you're a grown man um lollipop yeah i had forgotten that this was the debut of this form um, I thought it was really f interesting that they go to like a boxing thing with this. Because mm 
considering the form isn't a boxing form. Yeah. Uh, it's more like a mech form. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they could have visualized that differently. But yeah, he has boxing gloves and everything. Um, yes. I thought there'd be more to this too. The lemon, lemon thing. sours. That'd be a good, uh, good power. Like a. That'd probably be like a bow and arrow. Mm. Mm. What was lemon soda? Yeah, the guy. Was, was that a bone arrow? Uh, that that whole the sodas. That's yeah. all they got was bone arrow. That that was the weapon. Oh, okay. The then yeah, Sonic I'd, arrow. I would think I would think that would be good too. But yeah, he likes these, and a whole bunch of new ones come out. Yeah. Uh, of Rokan, which we are we already knew about. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Guru can, and the uh Bang can, very cool. Or uh, what was that Baku can? Baku. Baku can, very cool. Guru can. Is the new form that we get? Yeah. Um, we see one of an agent here, but riding only. without a motorcycle helmet. Yeah, breaking the law. Uh, takes it to bait him because that's that's the thing. Mm -hmm. uh, just a regular bike. We've seen that before. Um, Kitori State. Huh? High pirate team. High pirate team. Oh seven. Oh seven. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. 17 years ago. I'm going to throw up. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a weird shirt. Yeah. This little girl in her weird shirt. Because that's her friend, right? That's the one before? Yeah, that's the one yeah. before. So, uh, Hanto is tailing this oh, dude. Who that's is also an English up there, too, though. One, Banshi, Umezawa City. Huh. I think they're just in English now, huh? I think they're getting ready for us to get over there. Probably, so right? So, we can just read whatever they have. Okay. I'm, cool. I'm cool with that. Yeah, let's go. Uh, yeah, so Hanto's tailing the teacher, and the teacher's tailing the student. For some reason, he looks shady as hell, and uh, he keeps walking, walking. Oh, the tunnel's right there. Oh, my God. Yeah, it looks like Yeah, he's about to take. But it's also, I don't know, she she has zero awareness of her surroundings. Yeah, she has no perception that anyone's around her. If she did look back and see her teacher, she'd be like, oh, hey, Mr. Blah, blah, blah. You yeah. want me home? Thank you, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah he didn't say anything. Because obviously, she, she trusts him. Um, but yeah, he gets his thing, pulls it down, and sees that he had hand warmers. Yep. On his belly. Yep. His homeboy got a shit. Man, he is experiencing it yeah, right now. Yeah, he's shitting in front of him almost. He pretty much, yeah. So, um, it was, this is a whole, like, big comic misunderstanding, right? I'm just tailing my students so that they wouldn't get kidnapped. And he's like, well, why are you all dressed up like that? Yeah. And then he, he hears them, and then we as the audience hear the, the bubble guts noise. Mm-hmm. It's so nasty. Yeah, and then he just leaves. <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, he has to, right? Yeah. Um, he says, I've reached my limit. Yeah. Terrible. And then we go down there, and we see that there actually is a kid down there with one of those uh, candies that we've seen throughout the episode. Uh, as, we, as we see a stunt, as a, as we, as we see a tongue come up. Anto stops it. And we get the reveal of the monster of this week and next week, which is a crab. Gross, gross scary man. Yeah, really gross. Uh, his first his first thing is to do a drop kick on him in the face. I love that. There's a helmet for this one because he needs a helmet for his bike. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so there they are. That's great force perspective, dude. It's really yeah. good. Oh, look at that. We, we can see their shoes. Yeah, I nice. like this shot because it shows you the whole, the whole area. You can even see the minion down there. Oh, yeah. Uh, this stage was famously used for uh, King Oger for Princess Fight. King Oger with Oger. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's that prop that I was telling you about. This is a, just a flashlight, that, a camping light. It's like hot laser fire missile things, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, it's um, yeah, like hot laser. It's to melt any candy that's put on him Yeah. real quickly. So epic fight ensues. They have an app on their evil telephone. Looking, you know, it's evil because it, the, the way it looks. Also, right? make sure you don't cover the camera at all. <laughs> yeah. This is... I wonder how much this sells for on P-Bandai. Oh, dude. You know it's going to be a lot. Um, but yeah, chocolate melts. Uh, marshmallows melt. Uh, burn off. Yeah. Pretty much instantly. And then they say, this is your grave, Gav. All right. It's so funny. They're twins, but one has a round nose and one doesn't. <laughs> they look so different. Yeah. Yeah, they do. Um, oh, yeah. He mounts the monster. Oh, that's something that happened. I, I played uh, the Monster Hunter beta. Uh, that game was fun. Oh, yeah. It was confusing and I lost, but that's fine. 
uh, like usual, Monster Hunter's fun. Epic fight ensues with these two guys. I like this fight because uh, it's such in a tight area. You can't really do super jumps or like, you know, normal things in a writer where you'd be going around the screen doing green screen stuff. This felt very, yeah, like tight. Like he gets thrown around and he just falls on his neck. It's crazy or on his shoulder. It's, uh, it's compact. It's, uh, it's uncomfortable. You know, it's funny around this time with Gotchard when Valverad was a thing. Yeah. Everybody was hooting and hollering on how constantly he was losing. Oh, yeah. Valen not have a winning record, I don't think. But you don't hear that. I think the difference is that Valverad mm -hmm. had it coming. No, yeah, Valverad, Valverad had it is coming. A dickhead. But from and, from day one. Yeah. Uh no, I think he, he won the last two fights. Valen? Yeah. He won his Valen first won fight. his first one if you have to. And he won his second one, which was with the Oh no, he lost the second yeah. one. Which was with, with the lady. With the lady, yeah. Yeah. This is his third fight. Oh not even the fish dude. He doesn't fight fish dude. Yeah, he I mean he fought him with Gav. Oh, yeah, 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 right, you're right, you're right. Um, and they won that. Yeah. That's like team, though. And then here. Yeah. He doesn't win this. No, he, he, get, he, let, he lets him get away. Even then, yeah, he just, <laughs> he barely walks out and he goes, ah, he got away. You said something about that, right? Whenever it happened? Yo, you did. Oh, did I? Yeah. Yeah, it was, yeah, where he, he runs and it's like, he's like two feet ahead of you, dude. Uh -huh. You can run a little bit uh -huh. more. And it was an open <laughs> area. It's not like he, like, Jumped really got away. Yeah. Uh, it was this man turns out so he uses excellent detective skills to see this rapper that i got you know the same rapper that this dude gave to me earlier in the episode what a coincidence uh gav goes behind a, a shelf to see anything as this uh guru can drops on him gets in his driver and we get the new form for the week which is his mech suit type thing which oh my god is crazy this is a toy straight up yeah this is just straight up a toy pretty good the chest reminds me a lot of Braves level 50 form. Uh, coming out of Braves level 50 form. Which it was the... Oh. The dark with the red on the front with eyes. Um, title fantasy? Title... Title... Quest? Title... Yeah. Title fantasy or something. Um, but yeah, total mech. It's Hyper Muteki... Or Muteki... Um, X aid. Oh yeah, yeah, straight up. Yeah, yeah it's that's it's, the last time we had that. It's his mech, and it's, you're right. It's a title fantasy. Yeah, yeah, that's what this form reminds me of right here. Um, and then his bike be can become a Gatling gun. Yeah. Uh, now I would love to see how if they handle this in Soto. Um, yeah. Because it's his, it's not even his bike. I should say it's his AV, mm -hmm. ATV, whatever. So I wonder if A, they'll make that, and B, if they'll make that. Yeah, true. Audio that. listeners, the ATV is on screen, and then the Gatling gun's on screen. <laughs> um, and he has shit aim. I don't know what's going on with this. It just shoots everywhere. So I'm assuming it's very difficult for them to uh, shoot it and then have the bullets align to where like he's actually looking. I don't know if that's true or not, but he just shoots it, and they just go anywhere, literally anywhere. Yeah. It's crazy. He shoots it in your direction and they start going to the right yeah. immediately. But, you know, it's all for dramatic effect and all that. And uh, when he does his, his final explosion, real props come up uh, as little candies. I, I like that a lot. Confetti. Yeah, real confetti. Oh, and they show the process on the inside of how they make all of the candy bombs explosives with all the little gochizo inside. I like that as well. Yeah. Uh, epic fight is done. These two are scrubs. They lose. Yeah, they lose just straight up, and they walk away. Gav, you won't. This isn't the end of this, as they raise their fist in the air. Yeah. What was this? Oh, yeah. Hanto goes back to the place since he figured out it was the baker with all these candies, or with all these uh, pastries that he's been selling. That is probably the monster that, that he's looking for. And he goes back to the place, and it's not there anymore. <gasps> the whole building has disappeared. Wow. Like in Willy Wonka. Or like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Uh, with the dentist, you remember that? No, really? I haven't seen that one. Oh yeah, he goes. Uh, he goes back to the place, and the whole building's gone. Uh -huh. Yeah, so he's looking around. The whole building's gone. He talks to some lady that's on her morning commute or whatever. She's like, "Yo, oh, yeah, it's like crazy. It was there, and then it wasn't there." As he sees this little track marks next to the building that's been made. 
uh, and this is the end of the episode, he is putting up in his candy journal about Guru Ken and all the stuff that he ate that day on Halloween uh, as... Is this the last picture? That's what I'm looking for. Oh, okay. No. no. Oh, okay. What's after that? You remember. Do I? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, the... the I thought it was interesting he doesn't have a rapper, like a proper rapper for this. Yeah. Um, he did glue on a heart, though. <laughs> that book's going to be a bitch to close. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Uh, yeah, his day sort of just ends on his own. Oh, yeah, that's right. So she is at the place where he was going to, where Hato was going to meet her. Obviously, he got involved in that fight, so he couldn't. But then she eats the candy and is like, oh, this is so good. And then gets snatched up by the crab monster. You can see him back there. And that's the end of the episode. OMG. So yeah. The, the thing about uh, Gav is every last couple seconds of the episode, a Gochizo will pop out. And that'll take over mm -hmm. what the image is. So... If we ever get a character death and the last frame is them dying, you're going to see a little Gochizo pop awesome. out. Nah. It's on the same level as here's some trauma. Okay, let's dance. Yeah. Of, <laughs> you know, Q Ranger and all that. Yeah. Ryu Soldier. Ryu Soldier. What was that? Uh, uh, it's on the same level. No, not on the same level, but it reminds me a lot of, of um, what's his name dying? And then Merry Christmas, kids. Well, no, that's reverse. Oh, you're right. Yeah. yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. The dancing Christmas song was first. Yeah, with that X8 episode with Laser. Come on, Laser. Laser. Yeah. Spoiler alert. <laughs> um. Oh. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That was it. I gave this episode an eight out of ten. It was okay. It was all right. I liked Halloween the a little bit that we get of it, and I like this monster. I feel like their monsters have been really good this season. It's giving me a good like reaction that okay these are monsters that are like mouth themed with uh animals i'm thinking of maybe or like crustaceans or just like animals so this is a crab and it looks so gross i like it a lot yeah it looks very nice yeah tongue just so boring me out or yeah. bu bugging me out well, that's it you know okay um we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to finish up discussing last week's, two weeks ago, Ziz Superhero Time with Super Sentai. We're back. What's this? This is Bakawagi 35, the fledgling champion on the episode. On the wiki, this is Bakawaga 35, Blue Champion. Huh. Weird. The, the, phonetically how you say it is, Aoki. Okay, Ao is blue. Yeah, A Aoki Oija. Okay. I don't get it. Well, I, I don't know Japanese. But yeah, the fledgling champion. Huh. Oops. Interesting. Um. Yeah, I like that Michael Jackson is looking in the mirror. Uh, that's his t TV. Man in the mirror uh, again. Yeah. <laughs> again, um, Boom Boonger is delivering on the weird contraptions to view things. There are weird security system things. Mm -hmm. I also, this is a little bit of a different angle than what we saw last time. Oh, so it, so is it like, is it? Disasts? No, disasters would be like dead on looking at the barrel of the gun. Oh, I see, I see. No, yeah, you're right, you're right. Um, which I would have, that would have been cooler. <laughs> but I get it because this shot's supposed to show you Dario because that's what Michael Jackson's looking at. Yeah. Uh, and I also didn't notice this until the rewatch or the rewatch. Yeah, rewatch because I was taking the pictures. Uh, he doesn't have his hat on. It's a removable hat. Uh, not a removable hat, but he probably has two heads. Anyway, that's probably going to be a thing. He probably does have two heads. Yeah, it's probably two whole heads. But yeah. yeah, look, his hat's hanging. And we saw it right now, a little while ago. Yeah. Um. So he's probably going to be like, oh, when he takes his hat off, he's serious or mm -hmm. something like that. That's probably going to happen. That is cool. Um. His staff is communicating with him. Uh. It sounds like 
maybe it's his higher up or mm-hmm. maybe it's his dad which i would i could see coming um again all of these uh generals in boom Boonger have a little monkey little animal thing yeah and thing. this one because he's michael jackson has a little monkey uh bubbles yeah little bubbles um i like this a lot that sakito came in yeah he just walks in like a normal man yeah after the big uh, disagreement they had last week um i'd like to know what what days this happens uh because two of these people have jobs uh but they're usually here anyway yeah um <laughs> yeah because taya who knows what he does gemba works for whatever taya. yeah um and chashiro also kind of works for gemba i'm sorry for taya uh, and then saibu is a detective and she, this is her case so yes, she's at work right she's now. on the job and then black and pink they have normal jobs they gotta go do shit especially black he has like a cop job yeah, he's a cop like straight up and then pink has odd jobs all the time um which this this past episode was probably her best odd job yet mm-hmm. uh the one that just aired yeah i can't wait to talk about that yeah um so yeah i gave him a message um fuck you i don't want to see you no more no that's the message straight yeah, up b and d doesn't want to whatever and you know offers him hey don't you want to hear it and of course because mm-hmm. he's decent and wants friends and stuff he'll listen to him but not without recording it oh ho, ho. uh I like that he's probably like no he's super far away huh because it's he's in like the suburbs yeah th- this is the same rooftop that uh gamba was training oh, on yeah. whenever they were separated yeah um oh this is good yeah tell two knows mm-hmm I don't live there two knows. Um, so yeah, this is where um Disast tells them that Mad Rex is gone and blame Boom Boongers, they killed him to rile them up. Um and then we get this weird scene where everybody's talking mm-hmm. extremely close to the camera, like all of them are. Yeah. Including uh what's her name? Itasha. Itasha. What's his name? Yeah, it's hard. Yeah. His, his name specifically, I don't know. I feel like they don't say it enough. I, I feel like they say Itasha oh, all the time. Uh, Deco, Deco Trade. Yeah, see? That sounds like this is the first time I've ever heard you say that. It's not. It's not. But it sounds like it. <laughs> yeah, Deco um, Turedi. But yeah, everybody has this up close face, even this race. I thought that was funny. Like, it was pretty good. I don't know. It's, it gave me King Oja vibes. Felt like a... Felt like a a western everyone's doing a stare down uh this was also cool too where he like gives him the fuck you with his arms yeah i love that what, what what's that is that uh, that's like up yours right yeah i first learned that from the street fighter 2 movie oh yeah pretty good and then there's the your thing oh yeah tail two nose i love that um so yeah get Bo- bundario tells his story um this is like a popular thing for court cases mario does the same thing this happens to mario in sunshine <laughs> when he's on court trial uh but yeah the story is that um mundario had a really big fan that gave him a racing part mm-hmm. um it, it, it caused him to have his crash wherein they checked his equipment and it turns out that racing part was illegal so he had an illegal modification he didn't know he didn't check um so they barred him and they he wanted to spare his friends so he didn't want to tell them um Bjorn diesel was like oh he did that to save me or whatever um so yeah that's what he got him disgraced he couldn't race anymore he got disqualified from the gdp b b the bbg bbg ggp is fucking geats <laughs> gdp yeah. well, well, anyway. well you know what um the the bbg is yeah, big boo. The Beyblade Gang. Oh. OMG BBG. Shout out OMG BBG. Uh, so yeah, we find out that the fan was actually Wild Speedo, um, or Wild Spinder, Wild O Spinder, and he had this guy deliver the uh the parts, and it's just a goon. Yeah, <laughs> just that he had him beat up in the trash. I mean, yeah, he killed him. Like he has big old laceration in his head. I I want to know. 
because I, I looked at that and I don't know wh- what his eyes are. Are his eyes the yeah, indents? Yeah, me neither. Mm-hmm. Or is the eyes the colored bits? Yeah, I want to say it's the colored bits. Yeah, but if it's the indents, then he's a Gundam head. But if it's the indents, or, yeah. but, but if it's the color bits, then it, he's just an alien. Hmm. I can't tell. Um, Speaking of Gundam bits, Bundario's outfit in this episode, or for these scenes, are um, he is Crossbones Gundam. If you if you know Crossbones Gundam, and to me, he's Samus Aran when she's in the desert and she yeah, has yeah, a cloak yeah. on. Uh, but yeah, this is also apparently the very beginning of the Hash Aliens. Um, yeah. Wild the Spinder is like starting up and he tells them, you know, I'm starting up this crew. I want you to be a part of it. Um, so that kind of adds to it that not only was Bundario there working with the bad guys, he was there from the beginning. He was there from when they started, which is crazy. He was there relatively started. He was there whenever Wild Spinder was recruiting in person. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah That's in another person. thing. It's him himself there, but he's a big fan of him. Now, the only thing I had, the only problem I had with this, I thought Bundario was a loser. Oh, really? He never, yeah, he never beat Bune Diesel. Oh, okay, okay, but okay, okay. While Spindo liked his brain, I guess, like his engineering, mm-hmm. but he's still a loser. Like, yeah, I don't know. It was. Well- I mean, if those two are like the best of the best, which is what they are, right? Sure. Then you want to get the second guy, not the first guy, because the first guy draws too much attention. Maybe it's because he was cheaper. <laughs> um, but he definitely yeah. did this on purpose. Got him disqualified on purpose so yeah. that he can approach him to do this. Absolutely. Uh, so yeah, well, then we find out that Bundario actually had a whole part in the auto monsters thing, wherein they take gasoline. Yeah. Um, so everything they're fighting is because of Bundario, which is messed up and Mira points out that because Bundario is Bundario in his kindness mm-hmm. he is also the reason why um the people that yeah get their gasoline sucked out go back to normal after the monster is defeated yeah um it's his kindness it's his way of like undoing it and that's where she says that which in Sente, I don't believe has ever been explained it's just oh. like a thing that you know that if you beat the monster, the thing that happened is reversed. Mm, yeah, I, mm, I can't say that if that hasn't been explained. There's a lot of seasons. True that. True that. Um, from the past five, I do like that. Um, homeboy sleeping back there. Like this is a living scene. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. Not like a guitar string. It is not like a t- it sounded like someone started up a, an instrument. Huh. Outside, sorry, we're talking about outside stuff. It's sort of like in here, right? Yeah. I will say. No, it's fine. Oh, okay. Not disturbing us. Um, thank God she's back. It's been a, it's been a while since she's been in an episode. Yeah, she hasn't been in like two, right? Yeah. Something like that. I don't know. Our time dilation's gone bugged. <laughs> um. But yeah, they're still there. He's listening the entire time. Yeah, it's crazy how crystal clear that audio is coming through. Muffled ass controller. Um, so yeah, of course, Bundario is super. He was super guilty about all this. Um, and they have to make sure that they comfort him that they're gonna still be his friends no matter what. Of, of course, again, the young ones, mm-hmm. the go getters, are always like that. The new crew. She's she's crying the whole rest of the time. Um. So yeah, Pretty they're good. closing out comments like, oh, you know, you turned around, you're doing better. You never really meant to be a bad guy, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh, I wish Bune Diesel heard this. <laughs> and then, of course, what was funny, too, is that because it's a kid show, they imply that a couple times. Like, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, that was really nice. Yeah, I wish you heard this. And then Sakito like smiles, looks at it. And then it cuts to Bune Diesel out here, and he goes, "I did hear it." Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah dude. Now they got they got that. That's, that's the implication. <laughs> yeah, because it's a kid show. You know, you have to like mm-hmm. triple confirm shit. Yeah. Uh, this is fun because they're stupid, of course. Hey, we're here too. Da da. And they get him. They get his ass. Which is crazy. I feel like that's never been done before. Well, because they get the jump on him. It's it's a yeah. JRPG rules. If they sneak on you, they get true that they get first attack no matter what. Um. Which happens in Final Fantasy VII, which is bullshit because you don't know. Because there's <laughs> no... Sorry. Tension. 
There's no like enemies on the map. It's just, like Pokemon, like everything's tall grass. So you just randomly will yeah. encounter a fight and you're ambushed. What? Sure. <laughs> anyway, I stream some more also on Wednesday. Uh, if you want to catch that, the VOD is on the channel. Pretty good. I played like seven different Switch games. Next time I'll be more focused. I just wanted to try to get, make myself happy because again of Tuesday. Um, Saibu, great. Again, there she is. Whoa. Yeah, the, the artifacting. Yeah. I wonder if that's the TV screen. No, it's not because I see it on this screen yeah. too. I don't know what's going on there. It must just be that. It's just the black. Yeah. It happens also when we're watching it, so... You know what? Know. It might be in their in their post-production, what they're the, editing. It's probably in the encoding whenever they rip this to do the subs. Because I bet streaming this, like streaming, streaming it, like if they had a the Hulu over there in Japan or whatever, I bet it looks better. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Pretty good, pretty good. good. Oh, yeah. At a Joker-like reveal where... Uh, they see Boondario all chained up and all that, and then it Bean slides Diesel. out. Yeah, B B uh, Bean Diesel slides out to the uh, the Sun Seeders. Yeah, everybody reacts. I don't like in this reaction that Formula is so far back. Like that's his homie. He should be like, yeah, oh, Bean Diesel. Yeah. Um. Now I had made the comment that if this. Bune Diesel Robot Man could have his arms stretched out straight. Yeah, just like straight up. Like a T-pose. They no doubt would have crucified this dude. Crucified. Yeah, they do that a lot in like Japan. Like they do in Sentai and Rider. Mm -hmm. There's that... I feel like Ichigo, right? There's an image yeah. of Ichigo in the same thing. I know Marvelous has been um, crucified. The, the most famous example in my mind is in Ultraman. With Ultraman a too. bunch of yeah, Ultraman, mm -hmm. and they're all crucified. And they're huge. Yeah, and they're huge, yeah. They're the fucking giant versions of them. Yeah, there's something in Japan where, like, you just get crucified sometimes. The thing is, too, is that it's not... I mean, you know, Christianity exists over there, but if you try to do that here, if you try to... It, Ooh, <laughs> if you try to make a fictional character, like, get crucified on in media or whatever, boof, good luck. Um, This is cool. Again, Taya... Uh, being a badass, emoting, being mad. Yeah. Um, Genba as well. Yeah. Pretty good. And uh, it's a good team. I love that. You know they're the Bakuage Sensei. Hmm. No, yeah, they're the the Speed Sensei, the Car Sensei, the Racing Sensei. They don't finish to let the video end of them. Like here are my demands. I want this, this, and that. You meet me here, there, there, there. Oh, they just right. show up. Yeah. In the middle of their talk, yeah. Like he's talking, like, okay, yeah, I have right your here. buddy mm -hmm. here, and if you want him back, you're gonna have to come here, yeah. and and they, they're already there. Yeah. They're just straight up there. Not only that, uh, I mean, yeah, of course, uh, uh, Bundario is with them too to save them. Uh this was, this was great. This was really good. This, man, I hope we get more Team Rocket in things in this i don't know i hope they turn good i guess i don't know i want them to be around for a long time because this happens where this race shoots at them bundario comes and blocks it we don't know it's mm -hmm. like a quick flash or whatever and then yaru car says or asks oh yeah, yeah, yeah. did we get them and both of these two are like oh, yaru car why'd you ask that itasha if any no they tell yaru car yaru car why'd you ask that i thought itasha said that i'm Oh, no, no, here, here. I'm saying, yeah. they say, Yarukar, why did you ask that? Anytime anybody asked that, that definitely means it didn't hit. Uh, and of course it didn't. But it's funny how self-aware they are of like tropes happening in, 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 in these things. It's great. It's pretty good. Um, oh, but yeah, it, they both, Itasha says, you know, Yarukar, and then they, they, they both say it. I like how they, they both have like their own little doodles. Mm -hmm. She has herself. Like they did that. That they had that ready, or it's, yeah. just, it's just great. Team Rocket Antics. Um, yeah, there goes uh, Boondark. Man, that suit, he's, it's so good. It's such a good design. Big robot. Yeah, yeah, he's nice. It's a big uh, trailer. Yeah, and he looks big, too. Um, Look yeah. at him. And then you come back. So, I mentioned the thing about crucifixion, and sure enough, of course, that's how he was tied up, was yeah. on a T. Yeah, on a T. Um, pretty pretty good, pretty accurate. And you said that before we, we even knew this picture. Came yeah, out. yeah. I said it when we got to that video broadcast. Yeah. 
right here i said man if he if that suit were able to have his arm spread out they no doubt would have had him crucified um pretty good yeah and then yeah they just they just get him out uh yeah and then and then i guess they're like faking <laughs> being passed out yeah because you know the implication here is that uh formula and bune diesel get out and then knock them out so they can leave um and then this race looks over and sees them uh like this and he says you guys are fired and they get up real quick all right peace out and they, yep. they bow and they just leave and that's it um that's pretty great i think it's interesting that sakito lets uh the main the six five, the core five yeah the core five just and let them have their moment yeah because he's henchins yeah he's henchin yeah exactly and he dehenchins he goes y'all go do it up um yeah and then they have the final fight with this race yeah. They all say their things about uh Bunda uh Bun Diesel or Bundaria. Yeah. And he's like, I'm gonna I'm gonna get you, dude. Yep. Because this is still his fight. Um yeah, this was a good henchin. Here we go. Roll call with Roll Bundario. Call with Bundario. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Cool. Ah, that's a good shot. He's cool. And then yeah, they do a little pose with him. That's uh I think the last time this was like Zenkaiger, right? Because Zenkaiger yeah. was a robot man, and he, yeah, that was cool. Um, yeah, and Zuran, Zuran would get along with Bundari. I think they would all get along with Bundari really well. Oh yeah, absolutely. I think the picture before this one, yeah, I think if you um, cut out just Bundario, you could put that anywhere. Yeah, anywhere. That's, that's a good uh, stream emote. Yeah, it's great. Um, the yeah. I was saying all the Zenkaiju would probably get along with him except for Gaon because he's racist. Gaon. Yeah, he doesn't like robot people. Well, I mean, he's. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. He he's not. He's speciesist. Yeah. He likes speciesist. humans. Um, yeah. This is, as always, really good fight choreography. Um, all five of them are getting it in, doing really cool stuff, and they have their jackets on so they do cool things and this is where i didn't even think about it but yeah they also control this guy the the lion mech uh -huh. the 119 the ai things um or just this power up that taya has yeah they can they can use it too 119 um patch crow pat pato car one uh gets used and it's like a saw thing and he can use it to shoot this was crazy right yeah it was crazy <laughs> so in true cop fashion every time he shoots and he jumps and you know he jumps into whatever whatever this is like a 20 foot jump drop and yeah. they don't finish it they no. cut it off in the middle of the drop well because clearly this was uh the uh, matt was there but they're using a shot from before where right you know they're, they're splicing it together so it looks like he doesn't land on the map but yeah that's it was um thrilling mm -hmm. um but yeah he doesn't land and then, oh yeah we get to see her use and i was hoping she would when she used the jacket to use a power to use her sword upside down like she did it in the beginning um and she did and she did she sh shot fireballs pretty nice she uh, was a a mage like you said yeah she was a mage F finally because that's what the implication was when, when she was using it she'd use it as like a staff or a bonking stick but mm -hmm. it looks like a magic wand type thing um yeah cop boy uh has blue's car yeah and he does the thing where it's nails and right before this i said man yeah i really like the fight choreography and boom like this solidified it was already solidified but you know what i mean like i i liked it a lot and it turned into a shooting scene i was like oh well that's what i was complaining about last time but this shooting scene has fucking the nails and they shoot screws it's just not nails uh screwdriver and screws it was just it was just elevated it from just being a shooting scene to that Comparing like it to Gav. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, in Gav, they had that shooting scene that I was talking about uh, last week or previous episode on Wednesday. Um, this was weird to me that he did the tiger claws, but he doesn't have the sword. He's just, it's just his fists. Yeah, it's just his arms. Um, which I was going to say we haven't seen before, but we have because Mira uses her legs. Oh yeah. So it's the same kind of yeah. thing. It's just that we haven't seen this. But this was fuck that was, was sick the way he was using it. He was like spinning around doing Wolverine shit. It was cool. And then this like, you know, leg spin twisting they do to get up. Uh really cool. Oh yeah. Bundaro's even getting this. He's bopping people. He's bopping them right in the Everyone's nose. So dirty in that yeah, old great. factory. Fantastic. Um Yeah, this was cool too. 
Use the snake. And this... Wow, Black oh. is just like standing. Look at that. He's like standing in the air. Oh, wow. They're like straight up. Um, they do their second to last attack. Yeah. They got a good shot. They're all in there. Uh, you can't really tell, and I was compared to that, but this is them tapping Orange's back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just like how they did with Red. Yeah. But um, this time he gets for the kill. Yeah, he slashes the, the tire gate. And this slash always looks cool. It's all five of their colors. I, I like that pink is in the middle for some reason. That's weird. Interesting. This is a weird rainbow. Yeah. Yeah, there's no yellow. I mean, it's orange, but... um, This guy's cool. I, I, I just, I'm appreciating his design. I mean, he's been here for a while, but... He's cool. Look at the, his scaly legs. That viper shoulder thing. The tongue draped down. He's a cool design. And now it's a bummer to have him... To lose him, but... The skull head thing, too? Like, I don't know. He looks cool. Um, And then here, he's supposed to be like a good you know smart general whatever every time a monster turns huge they have to think at the back of their mind that i'm done yeah this is it this is my last chance that's it of it um but i like that he doesn't stay there and fight them he says bet you won't bet you won't follow me to space yeah bet you can't keep up to me with space and they do and this was cool too that they actually filmed him out of suit with them like it's the same day uh to keep up because they could have just kept him in costume yeah could have been saying the same things he just didn't fight um but just to hammer home that he's there to support them not to fight with them in this scene um also he grabbed his ass in this when he said like you know go get him um yeah the trailers couple they attach and i said they didn't learn shit from tokyo jerk because it's just it just it's just put them two together yeah uh, but the, then they the, show the, this shot where i guess they connect the middle animation sure um, but this is always fun to look at that they actually made and molded this for this. Um, What's that? This is a repainted Pato car too. Oh. Um, that's a hydrogen car. Which is H two. It 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 serves to boost them into space. Oh, it's supposed to be like N two O, like nitrous. Yeah. Oh, I see. Very cool. And they go to space, which I didn't expect very really? cool yeah no I, I didn't expect them to go to space like while the series was still going on i thought it was gonna be like a end game thing but that that's the series that's where the race is gonna be yeah but the bbg takes 12 months yeah we're gonna get that they're gonna yeah. speed through it i didn't like, man, oh, I, really, I really don't want to say that speed <clears throat> um or I don't know. I'm still hanging on to the, the hope that one of the racetracks is going to be on King Oger's planet. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, well, hey, that could, that could be the first, like... Be, that could be the Versus movie. Yeah. Boom Boonger versus King Oger. And they could be doing the race. And they maybe the first map or the first course is on Terra. Yeah. And then they join them on their race or whatever. Um yeah, that'd be cool. I don't know. I'm, I'm looking forward to that crossover. Um, Here we go. Here's all of them. Or yeah. six of them. And they combine. Uh, this had me laughing my ass off. I don't really know why. Um, the helmets appear as the, the robot comes together. Yeah. Uh, hands on shoulders. They're very camaraderie. I don't know why this made me laugh so hard. It's like they're a pit crew. I don't... <laughs> I don't know. It, I, don't, I don't know what it was. Maybe I don't know, did they look proud to like just be standing there? It's like they were doing a photo op. I think yeah. I don't know what it was. It, like I, it looks like they're in the middle of a photo op. Yeah, I don't know. I thought it was funny. Uh, he's got lips now. I don't never, like that. Never had lips before. You don't like the lips? No, I don't usually like lips on helmets. Ah, but on the mechs, they're pretty cool. Yeah, it's oh, just yeah further like pointless like it's it's not <laughs> there's no reason for a robot to have lips really. right um especially since Wundario base does not have lips right Wundario's uh uh optimus prime mm -hmm. he has that shield covering him yeah i do like though this just straight up straight up magnet helmet it's so cool 
I like the coloring. I like that they went with this light blue. Mm-hmm. Um, like super shiny light blue with it. Uh, and he got first place, I yeah, guess. Yeah, of course. Second Maybe, place yeah, second. was uh, Ren 2. Yeah. And uh, Digger. Or is that Graveler? Uh, it's a hammer. I don't remember. I don't remember. And then three is Fancy and Wild. Yeah. Or Classic and Wild. Safari. Um, yeah, this dude looks cool. He's big. I was hoping he's huge, and he is. Yeah. Way bigger. Um, he might be the same size as the other one, right? The one that combines all of the mechs, all the cars. Other what? That other form where they're oh, all when the cars when together. it's like where they ground themselves into the yeah. You mean yeah. the same size? Maybe a little bit smaller than this one. I think that's going to be smaller. Mm, okay. It's wider for sure. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, it's so big, even these guys can like jump on it. And I guess they accidentally activate something because he has his guns and shoots them all out. And there's a <laughs> hammer. Yeah, double sword action. Uh, this becomes uh, Houston I-10 and 610. Yeah, crazy. Intersection. Becomes uh, 10, 290, 69, the beltway. Uh, you can see a track. Like yeah in the real like down there yeah, yeah yeah i wonder what track that is somewhere in japan uh there they go it's their photo up again that looks trippy look at boom red's face uh-huh you can see the mech face the mech face yeah on boon red's face yeah you can wow. like, right, right underneath the helmet or where it should be on the that's robo. creepy but it's cool it's like Creepy yeah, nuts. just eyes and then his mouthpiece, with no nose in the middle. Oh yeah, look at that. Um, <laughs> and I like that here. He gives him a warning. He's gonna come for you, dude. Yeah. He's coming. I'm letting you know. I told him. My boss won't like this. I told him about you, because I don't like you, a. Eh? And he's gonna come for you. Um, I like that they just turn around because it, you know. Cool guys, load explosions. Um, the set is really nice. Q Ranger. Yeah, straight up Q Ranger. It's the first episode of Q Ranger. Um, yeah. The set is used very uh, infrequently, but when it does come up, it's always Q Ranger. Yeah. And then there's the Earth right the there. The prop Earth. Yeah, that's nice. It's like two feet away from them. Mm -hmm. They just poke it real quick. Yeah. Let me see how much is left. Okay, not much is left. Um, Saibu crying again. That crying the whole episode because of the revelations of. Uh, Bundario. Uh, I think it was weird that Chachiro was so interested in that. I think it was just to give him something to do as well. <laughs> um, because he, A, knew everything about Bundario already, kind yeah. of. Um, and B, he didn't have much to contribute. Same with Taya, except Taya mm -hmm. is red and he's the G. He can, you know, whatever. I, I always felt like Saibu and Chachiro should have more of a connection. Yeah, because, I mean, they might soon. Yeah, based on well, who, yeah, they, who they work with. Yeah yeah uh which comes to a head in the next episode it might be um where he's not gonna trust her right or maybe he doesn't trust her now because they're already suspecting that dude mm -hmm. uh chashiro and uh taya so yeah there you um, go yeah that was cool too where he like is satisfied that Gemma was able to get his revenge mm-hmm and he says, I'm going to take back my planet, Planet Bureki. Yeah. It'll be mine once and for all. Oh, I like this picture too a lot because Taya looks like he is listening. Mm -hmm. He actively looks in his face like, are you happy? Like he's asking him, are you, are you happy? Are you satisfied with what happened today? Um, And then, yeah. You murdered a man. Are you happy about that? I love that so much. You know why? Why? It's family. Oh, yeah. It's Vin Diesel. It's Vin Diesel. Family. And Antonio Banderas. Yeah. They're like, woohoo. I like these two a lot. Yeah. Yay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Curry time. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, because Sakito's like, all right, you guys are made up. Let's fucking eat. <laughs> <laughs> I love that they don't have there a kitchen. I love that. They have yeah. a camping kitchen. They have a little set. camping. Yeah. Yeah. I love little, it. They can take it anywhere. Uh, Bunsen burner. Mm hmm. Uh, but, you know, it's bigger. Um, yeah, and the episode just ends like this with, like, yeah, everything's fine. Yeah. 
Um, and then, oh, this one was weird. Yeah, mid credit PSA. The heroes encourage the viewers to return home when it's evening. Um, that's not fully what it is. The heroes encourage the viewers to go home when the uh, bell sounds, yeah. meaning it's evening time. Meaning and you need to go curfew. home. Yeah, curfew. Yeah, curfew. Uh, coincidentally, this episode aired on Yuki Hayama's 23rd birthday. Ooh, Yuki Hayama. I know exactly who that is. Yuki Hayama. You said 23? Yeah, 23. Give me a second. That is... Oh, that's Saibu. Nope. That's a uh, man's name. Right? Mm -hmm. Yuki Hayama. Oh. Gemba? Nope. I'm trying to remember on Twitter who's... Gemba's the oldest one. That's right. You said 21? 23. 23. It's, 23. it's his 23rd birthday. October 27th, 2001. Jesus Christ. Ooh. Ishiro. Oh. Ishiro is 23 now. Yeah, no, Gemba did just have a birthday too. Yep. Everybody just had a birthday. Didn't Mira just... No, I don't know. But yeah, he's 23 now. Very cool. Very nice. Cool. Yeah. And this mid-credit this mid, mid -credit PSA is uh, interesting. I didn't think that Japan had an evening bell. I think kids do. Oh, I see, I see, I yeah. see. Cool. Uh, How do you feel about the episode? I liked it. It's the end of uh, lap two. Yes. Do you have lap a picture three? for lap three? No, for the final lap, I did not get the picture for that. But it's awesome. Did you see both of them? There's two. Yes. Okay. It is crazy. The last, the second one. Yeah. Where it's black and white. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, people are assuming somebody's gonna die. Mm -hmm. Did you see who they think is gonna die? No, I haven't. Ha Orange. Oh, that would be so sad. We just got his revenge. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? He's gonna take back Planet Breaky. <coughs> That'd be sad. Yeah. Um, we'll see. Yeah. I don't think so. If anyone's I, gonna I don't think die we're doing that it's, anymore. If anyone's gonna die, it's definitely gonna be Taya. Shit. Definitely. Absolutely not. If he <laughs> dies, he's back. Yeah. The next episode i mean i always think about uh real soldier real soldier yeah. and kira major yeah kira major uh-huh remember that yeah that was cool that was hype it was not <laughs> it was hype you remember <laughs> well when he, he came back he came yeah, i mean yeah that part the dragon he, yeah small dragon that when he was for real but that was like a fake death with real soldier he actually he did died. die yeah yeah that, that happened that was crazy um i like that a lot but yeah, I give this episode a um, 9 out of 10. Really good. Really yeah, good fight scene. Really good uh, story lore. And Thank I like uh, Bune Diesel's character development. That he's finally back with, uh, how you say, with uh, Bundario. And they've fully made up after yeah. his hiatus and his mis disappearance and all that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the talking about the next episode because we did see it. Yes. Uh, <laughs> next episode features one hinami mori uh which you may remember as flint uh what was their last name flint cole no i joke swike <sighs> here i can pull it up right here flint hold on no, swiker no <sighs> what was their last name do you have it uh, yes. Flint. Uh. It's, uh. Because it was Zox. Anyway, she played, uh, she was a sister in Zenkaiger for Zox, the Gold Ranger. Um. She's back, and she's going to be the second Boon Pink. Wow, she's going to be the second Boon Pink. She's going to be the second Boon Pink. I can't wait. It's so cool. They're going to have two Boon they're Pinks. Two they're going to be two different people. That's so cool. Um, what was her name? Uh, her name is Striker, Psyker. Uh, give me the first letter. G. Gold Tweaker. Gold Surika. Gold Gold Tweaker. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty good. Flint Gold Tweaker. Yeah, anyway. That's a great um, name. She's one of my favorites. Yeah. So that's, uh, that, that was fun watching that t today live. And we're going to watch it again with subs. Um, I think it's going to be it for the episode did you have anything else uh no i can't think of anything i'm very excited to see that um those two pink um those two pink boom boom just like how they did with sort of in um 
Dawn Brothers, where they had two yellows for that one episode, kind uh -huh. of. Uh -huh. I'm excited to see how they work with that, with that, and how they do that. Yeah. Uh, we're, so we were watching it live, and there was a chat, and uh, <laughs> when yeah. that scene happened, when there was two distinct, different pink boom boongers on right. the screen, everybody hyped and was so happy and fun. It was great. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Anyway, look forward to that <laughs> in a couple of days. That episode review. Um, that was it for the podcast. Yeah. The wait. What? What? We did a podcast. Yes. Oh. Uh, I have been super blast text. I'm super blast text everywhere. Uh, S u p e r b l a s t x t s t e x. Uh, I am on YouTube here. Uh, catch me every Wednesday. I'm trying to stream every Wednesday. I forgot I said I was going to stream today, but I forgot uh, I said that on the Wednesday stream. I just straight up forgot that I was going to do that today. I think you still stream. Today? Yeah, I think so. Eh, 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 I don't know. Um, get me on Twitter if you want to see uh, K-pop shit, yes. J-pop shit. Get me on Instagram if you want to see like real life me. And Blue Sky, of course. I'm trying to get more on Blue Sky, so... Check us out. Yeah, and I've been Toku Tony. You can catch me everywhere at Toku Tony, except for Twitter. On Twitter, I'm the Toku Tony. Oh, no. How about that? Uh, thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Share this with your friends. We want to hear from you again. Um, I'll see you in a few days. Bye-bye. Oh, wait, real quick. Did you have anything with Random Tangent new? Uh, no, actually, nothing Random Tangent new. It's... Uh, episodes every monday tiktoks come out uh, eventually two uh, two to three times a week so watch out for that but yeah next episode monday oh bye guys <laughs>